Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm back again with another Fortnite video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to level up your power level, not your health, not your shield, not your combined power level or the level that you're on. I'm talking about in the top left right here, you can see the little thunderbolt symbol and it's that's your power level. My power level is 63. Now with this, you can go down here and change out your primary hero and as you can see your health and your shield goes down dramatically depending on how high of a level you have in this slot so I'm gonna go back up here and put this back on that's not really how you level up your power level that's more or less just your health so those are important but not for your power level what you want to do to get your power level up is come over here to your survivor squads click on that and each one has specific things that you have to match up to give you slot bonuses as well as the different survivors that you have have different bonuses towards your melee combat your trap bonus and all that kinds of stuff so we're gonna get right into the first one EMT squad and with this one as you can see down in the bottom right it says squad leader slot slot a lead survivor to EMT squad and underneath of that so what that means pretty much is you can put any survivor in here that you want that is a lead survivor you can have this person in here as a level 5 if you want to just know as you can see my power level went down one whole level plus a little bit why because this is not a doctor as you can see down in the bottom right it says bonuses slot a doctor so if you go back over to here this guy is a lead survivor and right below that you can see leader match doctor so he is a doctor, he's a leader match, and there we go. My dream job. Also, it says slot squad members that share the leader's personality type. The personality of this doctor lead, lead survivor is curious. So what you're going to want to do is all the people that you have in these slots are going to want to be curious. So just click on one of those guys and if you hit if you're on PS4 and you click L3 which is pushing down on the left stick it will change it by lead personality match and whatever person you have in your first slot is going to be the personality of all the top people in this list. So as you can see here all the people up to this point are curious any of these people I can pick and it would be a personality match to the leader now with that I have this person here and this person has a bonus of a shield regen now with that you have to have two people matching to actually complete this bonus and for the next person I have this guy here now these two together leveled up to two stars level 20 gives me the shield regen bonus and it matches the lead survivors so my health and shield goes up even more so you want to make sure that they're matched up as you can see here trap durability don't trap durability bonus it gives you another one and you've got to have two to complete that range damage bonus right here I do not have three out of three so unfortunately I will not get the range damage bonus until I put another curious survivor that has a range damage bonus on them so for example I'm gonna try to find one right here range damage bonus the only reason I'm not gonna put this on here is because my health goes down it does give me a little bonus but he's only a common survivor so for that I'm just not gonna put him on there I'd rather just go with this guy for now because he gives me a little bit more health but I do want to keep in mind that once I get another curious survivor with the range damage bonus I want to slot him or her in this slot right here and level them up so I've got a whole slot of purples they really help out the better rarity they are and you definitely want to make sure that you evolve them and level them up as you can see here I need four more training manuals to level them up or evolve them and then I will max them out at three star which will also give me a better bonus towards my power level moving on to the next slot fire team alpha as you can see here guys your bonus is to slot a marksman so I do have a marksman slotted and then again personality type matches mythic lead survivors grant a large power bonus for personality matches and a small power debuff for non matches which means that if they match the personality type then it will give you a better bonus but if it does not then it's gonna decrease your health a little bit 
or your bonuses a little bit. So you want to make sure that they're all matched up, which of course they are. This is a big reason why you do not want to trade any of your survivors until you know what you're doing. So like you can see here, guys, I've got three out of three. I've got two out of two. And then this one has one out of three. So eventually I'm going to have to change up my survivor squads just a little bit. And I'm going to have to put somebody in here that has a one out of two bonus complete because I only have two slots left. So I will not be able to get the bonus if I have one out of three slots filled. So guys, just go back into here, go into your survivor squads, look at all the bonuses and just make sure that the leader match is matched matched up with it and all the personality types of your survivors are matched up with your leader as you can see here guys I need a what is it I need a personal trainer to be a lead survivor in here unfortunately I do not have a personal trainer that's good enough to be a lead survivor I do have one that is also adventurous and is a personal trainer only problem with that is she's a rare and I'd rather not you can I think you can use your flux to level up your people but I really don't care to waste on survivors I'm just gonna wait until I can get it from the loot store and I'm gonna get it that way they always give you chances to buy purple and gold survivors out of there so guys this has been my tutorial I hope it helps if you have any farther questions just make sure to ask me down in the comments and yeah if you do want to be entered into any giveaways that I do I do giveaways all the time my next one's gonna be at 300 subscribers so make sure that you're subscribed and have notifications turned on for that. Until next time guys, I'm out. Peace.